Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well and welcome to today's video. Today we will look at how to connect and integrate WeTracked with Google Ads. Dive right into it. First, we will connect our store. So you need the Shopify domain there. I would just grab it real quick. So basically you go to Shopify, go to settings, domains. There you will find your Shopify domain. Let me just pull it over real quick. So there you go, domains. Let me just copy that. And then you also need your collaborator code, collaborator request code, which you also get there. Let me just grab it real quick under users and permissions. Then you scroll down. All right, there we go. Time zone, let's see. We have it Berlin that works for me. Native checkout. Perfect. Continue. Then we said we will set it up with Google Ads, but you can also like do that with Facebook Ads. It's quite a popular tracking tool for Facebook Ads as well. And all the other platforms. It's pretty straightforward, but I will show you with Google Ads now. Add pixel, add new pixel. We don't have a pixel yet. Just name it based on my store name. All right. Okay, so next we need the Google Ads conversion ID and the conversion labels of our different conversion actions like purchase, add to cart, we can check out, page you, etc. So we will head over to Google Ads, go to goals, and wait. All right, we can ignore that one, that is not needed. We will set up a new conversion action. Yeah, they changed the design again of how that looks like. So looked a bit differently quite recently still, but yeah, it's still the same process more or less. Let me just double check it again. Still have to get used to that as well. That's fine. Our website, yeah, Google tag, all right. So you pick website here, then you continue. And then we will set up different conversion actions here. Right, it's really a bit differently, but doesn't matter. It's more or less the same, same thing. All right, we will create a manual event in this case. Then we call it just purchase, and we track so we can. So we have identified it quickly as well. Let's copy that because we will still need that naming convention, use event. Then we create cart what else do we want we can check out and page view all right then we add the add to cart here same thing just name it differently all right add to cart So the same with the other conversion actions real quick. We can check out. And page view. All right, use it. we can check out page view, save and continue. And head over to Google Tag Manager and you see everything that we need in that case, which is the conversion ID first of all. So we copy that, we go back to WeTracked, paste that. Then we add our conversion labels here, page view, add to cart, in, yeah, begin checkout and purchase. And then we just copy the conversion label here, just double click. Then you cannot make any mistakes with the Copying that, just double check it as well. Add the card. Make sure you link it correctly here, otherwise you will have some issues. Ah, I have to copy it like that. Yeah, just make sure you copy that properly as well. You don't want to have any mistakes. 
mistakes here, otherwise it will not work, of course. Page view, and that's it. Let's double check. Okay, we have the name, we have the conversion ID, we have the conversion labels like here. Now we're good to go. So all done, complete finish here as well so we see that here already it's still inactive that we can use it later on uh, one more important thing and I will tackle that directly you do not want to have anything on primary except purchase that's one of the most common rookie mistakes people start to run ads with that and then they track everything as a conversion because everything that's an account default gold here and primary will get tracked as a conversion in Google Ads which means, okay, you track page views, you track begin checkouts, add to cart, and the algorithm optimizes on all of that. But in the end, you only want the purchase, right? Only this one. So I will also like put it on secondary right now. And tackle that later. Basically, yeah. edit settings, put everything, and there it gets explained as well, you see, like, Primary action, this action will be optimized for. That's the main thing. Secondary, this action is marked. Secondary won't be used for optimization, which means you still have it in the account. You still track it, but it won't be used for the opti optimization. It's just for, where's the word it even shows here usually? No, but it's just for observation, just to, to gather some additional data and to see it in the ad account. It's quite nice, you know, but you don't want to optimize that messes up your tracking secondary so we do not want to optimize on any of that we just want to purchase right we, we want to optimize on on revenue so looks Good, so just our main conversion purchase we tracked is primary now. Perfect. All right, quick check in we track, so that's under review. You will get an email soon, then you can uh, approve the request in Shopify as well. One more thing, let's go back to Google Ads. Let's reload. Let's double check the settings here. All right, then we accept the customer data terms here and enhance conversions we turn on and select Google Ads API. Perfect, and then we are done. So again, just needs to be verified, accept that, then you can start running ads and then you will see like data flowing in pretty soon. Like you will see the page views, the to cards, the begin checkouts, hopefully later on the purchases once you start running ads and that's it feel free to check out some of my other videos as well i also made a video on trackby which i like to use for google ads as well you can compare both of them and decide for yourself which one you prefer both are valid both are great for google ads and yeah see for yourself and have fun implementing that See you in the next video. Bye-bye.